uh, it's very important to incorporate the evidence behind any kind of AI models um, and that will empower the people using it. How advanced is the AI ecosystem in Australia? Have you heard of intelligent transport systems? Hear from a machine learning researcher offering solutions in healthcare and road safety through her knowledge of artificial intelligence on this week's episode of Tomorrow's Tech. I'm Laura Usher, joined by Alina Bielkowski, a machine learning researcher from the University of Queensland. Welcome to the show, Alina. Thanks for having me, Laura. Alina, how impactful and revolutionary will machine learning and AI be in the healthcare sector? Can you share some examples of your work in this area? Yes, yeah, so I believe AI and machine learning will be very impactful in the healthcare sector, um, and it's quite an exciting time to be part of AI right now. Um, I believe that AI right now has a lot of the capabilities to actually improve healthcare, so that in includes things such as um, providing faster detection and diagnosis. In terms of my research in the area, I work on developing interpretable machine learning models for medical imaging. Um, so this is where rather than just getting a machine learning model to output a prediction from an image, um, I also develop the techniques to um, actually understand how the machine learning model came to that prediction. This is very important in the age of deep learning, um, which is currently achieves state of the art in almost all aspects of um, machine learning. Um, it's a massive model that uh, achieves very good accuracy, but the problem is that it's a black box. The decision making is completely opaque. And if a clinician is to use such models, um, there's no way to understand how it came to that um, decision. And um, what we need to be able to use these models is to provide that evidence. So before going into any kind of surgery or any kind of treatment, um, the clinician who's using the output of these machine learning models needs to have this evidence, which is part of my research. It's fascinating to learn how crucial AI can be for the healthcare sector. Now, we understand you've been actively involved in intelligent transport systems. How does AI fit into this and in what ways will it impact the national road safety strategy? Yes, that's right. I have also been working in intelligent transport systems. Um, in terms of how AI fits into this, um, part of my work is about using AI to make our roads more efficient. Um, so let's say you have an incident on the roads. Um, we want to be able to detect that as soon as possible so that we can then respond to it and make our roads move more smoothly. Um, so in terms of AI and how this fits into that, um, I do uh, things such as sensor fusion and automatic anomaly detection on the roads. Um, and the idea behind this is that we can um, help road operators to get our roads moving more smoothly. Yeah, I'm confident this technology will be monumental for Australian transport systems. Alina, you've been around the globe, you've worked on various AI projects. What do you see as the key factors for a successful AI application? So I think there's a lot of factors that go into creating a uh, successful AI application. So first of all, you need to develop a solution that um, solves a useful problem that adds value to the end users. Um, second of all, you need to actually involve your end users and domain experts in the design of the AI. Um, so I think this is crucial because without the input of the people that are going to be using it, they may not be able to actually use it in their workflows. For example, for clinicians, they already have existing workflows. They need to have some kind of improvement that the AI brings. And understanding that from a designer's perspective in terms of the machine learning algorithms really helps design and develop a very good AI application. And lastly, I think you need to actually make sure that your AI application works in the environment that it's intended to operate in. Um, so that means getting sufficient accuracy, um, as well as understanding other considerations, for example, privacy um, and things such as, for example, any kind of bias um, that you might have in the data. Um, and speaking of bias, in terms of my own research, I believe that uh, it's very important to incorporate the evidence behind any kind of AI models. Um, and that will empower the people using it, so the end users, to have these additional capabilities that AI can bring while giving them the control of any kind of output. Those are some great insights for our audience, Lena. Thank you for joining us today on the show. Thanks for having me. Hey viewers, if AI and machine learning are a scope you'd like to explore, stay tuned weekly across our Tomorrow's Tech LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram channels for our Believe in AI series. Looking to connect? Comment below. If given the chance, how would you implement AI to reduce road incidents across Australia? We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week on Tomorrow's Tech.
Tomorrow's Tech, presented by 3Digital.